previously on my farming life. As you can see, unfortunately, the combine is parked up in the field over there. We got uh, one a bit times around the field last night and they got a bit damp, so we had to leave it. And then, well, this happened. If I knew this... Yeah, so we are going to be moving about 30 cattle or so over to the new satellite yard, which is actually, you can't really see it through the fields here, but it's just on the other side of the river. A uh, little independent shed there with, with a bit of a stack yard so we can stick a whole load of uh bales up there if we need to as well i've taken on the new ground there and because i've done that as well i'm starting to invest into the business a little bit more so i've bought my first bit of equipment well there's some good news in there but if i'm honest there's a lot of work to do to get some of your ground back into good condition well a very good evening ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my farm and life you join me in the combine on um, what is a very cloudy evening in September. Harvest has dragged on. We haven't got much left to go. We're almost in the corner, but the weather has been awful and we've really struggled to get anything done of um, of any material matter really. And we're just trying to get through the last of the wheat at the minute there. We've been on and off. It took three attempts to get the field done over at South Healy and we've got one field left that we're going to try and salvage right about now. And then that's all the wheat done. Then we've just got a couple of fields of linseed left to go. And hopefully, hopefully that we can be looking at the end of it. And the field of soya beans as well there. But ultimately, it's just been an absolute pain. So it is what it is. Oh, this is a summer that we're trying to get used to these days. And uh, we will see how we get on. Squeeze through there. That's about us. Uh, and yeah, Bungle's up ahead. He's already pulled in the uh, tractor with the header trailer on. So we can get going. It's been on and off. Like I said, it's been really wet. We haven't been able to do much in the fields at all. We've got to the point where we've cleared the bales where we can. Uh, there's still a few bales to straw because the fields are starting possible at the moment. There's still some bales that, or some fields that need to be baled as well. So when that happens, uh, who knows? But we will try and hope that this the little bit of sunshine that we've got coming up there will get a bit better. And that'll allow us to, to push on a little bit further there, hopefully. But you know, it's all up in the air, really. And we'll just have to see... Oh, watch that there. See how it goes. This field we're coming into is nowhere near where it should be. Ideally, we would like to have had it cleared uh, a few weeks back. But it's just been too damp. Right now, we're at about 16%, 16 and a half at best, I think, in spots. Tested it this morning there, and it was still in the 18s. So hopefully, it's in a position now that we can get it. It's going to have to go through the dryer uh, when it goes over to the grain store, and we'll take a hit for that, no doubt. But, you know... It's, it's what we've got to do to get this field cleared, I would say. That's the best option we can have. That's Bungle now. There, we'll see. Like I say, the last field of wheat that we have to go into. And there's just a couple more fields. There's one big field over the other side of the uh, the farm here. Uh, and then we've got soybeans and a field of linseed as well up at uh, South Healy as well. But I'm going to get this all plugged in and set up. And then we'll, we'll try and get ourselves in and around and see what this field's going to be looking like. All right, well, Bungle has kindly hooked us all up there. I think we'll just, I don't know if I get a bit further back or not. Can't really see all that well. A bit more of an angle that way so we can get ourselves out. We let Bungle just reverse back up the drive so we can get into the field. That'll about do us there, I reckon. All right, let's have a quick chat and get ourselves away. Get myself right in the bush here. Oh, can't get out. Ow, ow. There you go. Well, Bungle, this is it. We're in the last of the wheat. Well, about blooming time as well. I'm sick of this harvest. You are telling me. One field of wheat left, a couple of fields of soybeans and uh, linseed, and that's us done. Well, I'm not sure what they'll be like now. It's been so miserable, but we can only hope. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I don't ha know how well we're going to travel here, but uh, I haven't even been in the field to see, but we'll have to fingers crossed and hope for the best. And then we'll just try and get us all cleared up there. It's going to be pretty poor going. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hi. Not going to be fun, but here we are. I'll have to keep pushing through. That's a British harvest for you. It is indeed. Uh, do you want to shift this up out there, out of the way? And uh, we will... Or I'll get myself in here and get going and we can see see what it's going to look like. And uh, I guess one trailer for now. Uncle's a bit busy, so it'll just be you, Carton. Yep, just me for now. We'll see how we get on. The others are away looking at calves and getting them all set up our South Healy. Mm, indeed all right well you uh pull that forward back and i will get this thing going just miserable this combine's great one thing i would say is that because we've got the bigger combine actually i just need to check something here before we get the uh now we've got the big combine when we do get going we can clear a lot more ground than we were available to already no i do have a, a 
belt. I just want to tighten up a little bit around here. Right, I think we should be good there. Back over we go. Not much room to get through here. Looks like Bungle has shifted. Fantastic. All right, so. All right, we are going to swath the straw. Whether or not we'll actually get to bail it like some of the other stuff. Who knows? But we'll give it the best shot. We will be carding most of this stuff as well. We're going to be carting most of this stuff up to South Healy. Our shed here is now full. The one field that we were able to get done is... Or was, sorry, the field over at uh, the back of the buildings over there. So that has been cleared. Uh, made a little bit of a mess doing so in spots as well. But it's been cleared. That's the main thing. And that will mean that now uh, any, any other uh, bales will go up to the shed. The lambing shed has been emptied. The sheep are down here. So that's all looking good. And um, we can start to stack bales in there. And then probably end up putting machinery in there as well. Because we do run out of space quite often. Uh, and yeah, so that's going to be a nice change around. The calves are looking to come in very shortly. I know uh, uh, Bungle was saying there that Uncle and Cousin are fiddling around with livestock up at South Healy today. Uh, again, just taking the opportunity whilst it's relatively dry to do so. Uh, we'll see. But otherwise, no, they're looking good. Managed to get the hay cleared on the new ground as well. Uh, again, that took a bit of time. But everything's just being delayed and problematic at the moment because of this weather. But hopefully, uh, we'll get a decent start to, um, to cultivations. We need to get the plow going soon. But we have to wait because we need to put some apple, uh, spread some muck onto the fields, among other stuff as well. So... There's a lot that we need to get taken care of. Uh, and we're going to be touching on that a little bit later, actually. Uh, but for right now, at least, we're into the field. And we're just going to see how we get on here and see if we can get this all taken care of. Uh, and then, like I say, the linseed's probably ready to go and get straight on into that if we need to. Uh, that'll probably be a thing for tomorrow, I reckon. Um, or at least if we can get this, as soon as we get this combine done down here, we'll get the combine shifted. Uh, that's going to take a little bit of adjustments on the combine to get it ready to go. And it's quite a, a, a rough crop to harvest. So we need to be uh, aware of that and cognizant of that and get everything set up ready to go. But ultimately, yeah, it's coming along. It's just an absolute pain, frankly. An absolute pain. This field here is not too bad, not too wet. Uh, it is a bit of a heavier field there, but it's still not too bad. It's, it's well drained. It was a while ago. There's a, a, a big pond in the corner here, which is why it's so well drained and looks so good. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. The yield-wise, I'm not sure. But we tested it. We were losing out quite a lot for various different proteins across the board because it was just so uh, a bit too late, really. Uh, so quality of the grain is not great. Usually this will go away for like a, a, a million for flour or for biscuits, but not so much anymore. It's probably going to end up in animal feed uh, regrettably, but we'll see. We will see. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to keep cracking along and see how we get on here, really. Hopefully, the end is in sight. Well then, folks, we are in the last strip in the corner here now, and this field is done. Surprisingly, yields are pretty good, uh, which has been the outlier for the, this harvest. Uh, but we're about done here, uh, and then we're going to fill up the trailer, which Bungles went and take away over there, and then we're all set, really. So that's going to be quite exciting to get this all done and dusted. Uh, and like I say, we can then move on. Um... We're not going to do anything else this evening with harvesting. Nothing else is fit. And also, we're just going to leave it be. Try and... Weather's well, supposed to be manageable for the next few days. So, hopefully, that'll mean that fields can dry out a little bit more as well. So, we'll see. But, good amount of straw in here as well, which is always important. Good looking field uh, to get done and dusted. And uh, we will just go and fill up the last of the trailer, top us off, and go. It's been two loads away from here so far. And, well, about a full tank load and a bit. So... Uh, probably two and three quarter loads, I'd say, all in. Uh, as Bungle just stand watching. Get this all filled up here, ready to go. Uh, and yeah, like I say, from initial tests, the quality is not great. We just have to live with that and move on. Uh, you know, just chalk it down to a bad year. Uh, I always, uh, I always budget based off of animal uh, grade wheat anyway. And then if you manage to get up to that high level there, then you make a little bit more money. So that's all good. But um, yeah, it's, it's a, bit, a bit trash, really. Uh, but anyway, let's get Bungle away here. And then we're going to clean down the combine a bit and get this header dropped off. Uh, we'll probably... I don't like leaving the combine in the field where I can avoid it. So we might just take it on over the road. But let's get Bungle away. And all right. There he goes. Uh, I'll take a little bit of time to get up there, but we will... I'll leave him to do his thing nice and handily, which is great. So, 
Uh, he's been ticking along backwards and forwards there. A little bit of a delay to, to get all the way back, but it's fine. We're stretched a bit today anyway, so we'll make it work. Look at this. The sun is still out. Amazing. Not a drop of rain today, uh, which is a uh, contrast to the last, last part of 10 days, really. Uh, all right, then. Let's get this all dropped off, though, shall we? Uh, should have unhooked the, uncoupled the pipes and the PTO shaft wires down there, but we didn't. Uh, I like to leave the header on the trailer here as well because it prevents someone from stealing the wheels. As daft as that sounds, it has happened. So we will do our best here. We'll get it spread up a bit more. Header trailer is slightly longer than the header uh, and that's slightly longer than it needs to be, but this gives us a little bit more space to maneuver here. Uh, all right. There you go. Take those out. We're all looking good. In need of a wash at some stage, but it's not going to get one until we finish here. Now, back a touch there, I think. Awesome. All right then. Oh, get that. All good put in. And that's us pretty much done here, really. Uh, like I said, we're just going to shove this up in the yard there somewhere, and then we're going to have a look at some of the new machinery that, that I've actually bought myself. I was mentioning in our last update that. I'm taking the decision, or I've taken the decision to to uh, actually purchase some new equipment on my own. Uh, reason for that is it kind of helps in the long run with the business transition and, and uh, you know, how that's going to look from a financial point of view if I can actually own everything myself. So that's what we've gone and done. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Now, what we do need to do, though, is sneak our way through here. Easily does it. This is quite a tight turn. What we'll probably have to do here is put a bit of a cut in where I can. Or, in fact, that will get out and then we'll just swing it back. Trusting no one's going to be there. Alright, we'll just take our time with that. Perfect. And we'll go and we'll just stick ourselves up here and we'll see how we can get on, what that looks like. Uh, not much has changed up here, really. The sheep are settling in. And, uh, like I say, a lot of field work that's outstanding to be done that we just have not touched at all because it's just been miserably wet. Uh, so we'll have to get onto that when we can. Uh, but really, uh, we'll just stick this into here. Ooh, get through there. Do it for the time being. I might just actually stick this in the field there. That'll do us. Nicely does it. Nice and straight. Okay, perfect. All right, well, we'll leave it there. Uh, so, as I mentioned there, we recently bought some new equipment. And we're going to have a quick look into it now. We need to tidy up this muck around here as well. I knocked it over the edge there last time around. Uh, so we need to get that tidied up. I managed to spread one whole load of uh, slurry since we brought the tanker down here. Uh, so we need to just wait for things to dry up a little bit. So we should be good now. Uh, cattle looking good. And in here is our first bit of equipment. We've got this down here because we're going to need that very soon. Actually, we've got to swap the telehandlers around. Uh, Bungle's thinking about something with that as well. He's been talking... Um, about an upgrade not for this one but we'll see i don't know if we can afford it we'll have to do some numbers um this is mine this is one of our bits of equipment it's a brand new front press uh we're trying to speed up our operation a little bit when it comes to some of our heavier ground we bought the power harrow you've just seen recently when we picked that one up but this is just another little option as well which we're going to be able to use and have a little bit more um a little bit more of a streamlined and efficient operation it's a three meter wide press it's nice and basic straightforward but we've never had one before and uh, now we do and this bit's really quite exciting that's gonna work in unison uh with our new drill look at this i'm very excited about this this is obviously lemkin it's four meter wide drill we've never had a four meter drill before uh and with that's obviously our new power harrow three meter wide power harrow that will go ahead of us but yeah, this is just going to be superb to see in action there. Really, really pleased about this. We bought it secondhand. Uh, it came through a, um, a dealership down south, uh, just outside Lincolnshire, actually. And it's a very nice drill. And it's got all the bells and whistles there. Uh, but you'll, the, there's one elephant in the room. 
with this and it is that all of our tractors here are too small to, to pull it or to use it uh, and we've been demoing larger machines and we've discussed that at length about what we're going to look to do with those uh, and we've made a decision we've actually bought a new tractor it hasn't arrived yet it's coming next week i think um or in the next few days certainly and you'll see what that is and that will be more than capable of pulling this power uh, this combination uh, and the press on the front there as well this can uh, function uh with the gps unit on the tractor as well there so we'll have variable rate uh, application and, uh, and drilling and planting which is going to be great really really looking forward to it there so we can really start to step up our uh, arable side of things it's a bit wider obviously a meter wider there so our output will be increased we've thought and thought and discussed about going for different types of drills you know be it direct drills or min tillage drills uh or even zero till drills to some extent but some of our land is shockingly heavy and it just wouldn't go too well so for now at least this will be the next step we will we will have to think about other options as well uh and one thing we might have to think about sooner rather than later is that we've got a four meter drill there and an old four furrow plow so either cousin's gonna have to get well ahead of us with a plow uh or we're gonna have to think of other options there as well so um but anyway that's a different discussion we're hoping if it starts to dry up soon that we'll get a good solid few days plowing ahead of us but you know that's an option there between dad who'd like to do a bit of plowing and cousin as well we'll see what that looks like but it's going to be it's going to be tight i'm hoping as well that i can get a bit of a head start because uh, i'm going to be driving the drill on what's essentially going to be my new tractor the new tractor we've got there and i will be looking to drive that one but we'll see how it goes uh but yeah two new bits of kits to the farm really exciting about that and there's going to be a, a big week of new arrivals next week as well which we're going to look into obviously next week so if that tractor arrives at the same time then that will be brilliant so we'll we'll keep you updated with that oh and that's my phone ringing oh, who is this oh it's bungle what does he need hello we were hopefully expecting that lime today, yes. I will. I think it's on its way down here now. I'm at the dryer and I've just passed four big trucks coming down with what looks like lime in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. If there's four of them, that could well be us. We are expecting quite a bit, so it's a start at least. Uh, how far away were they? Well, they were going at some speed, so they won't be too long till they get here. So you better get ready to go and show them where they're tipping that, otherwise they'll have no idea. Right, yeah, because we're going to have to get them sorted out in the village. Oh, Lord. That's going to be fun. All right. I will go and have a look then, and uh, we'll see if we can get them all up to scratch here. Just need to make sure we'll get them in and out, and we don't cause too much trouble down there. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Right. -o. Right. Well, we need to go and use the map row here. We've got a bit of a delivery arriving, and a few issues with that delivery, which we'll fill you in with when we get down there. So, uh, to the map row, I think. All right. So, we have, or we are receiving a... Where is very large delivery of lime today uh, as part of the next step for us sorting out some of our fields following the visit of our friendly agronomist uh, they've organized for us to get quite a bit of lime coming in with the aim of us putting about a ton and a half per acre uh, for an average some cases there where it's really bad we are going to be looking at putting about two ton an acre on there so but we need to get some lime now the problem being with that is that like i've mentioned some of our ground is just so wet that uh, these are coming in, well, I think are going to be about 20 ton trucks. And there's just no way that you'd be able to get a fully laden 20 ton, uh, I think it's four axle truck, onto one of our fields there. And then especially not about four or five of them. So um, we're, we've got a load coming in. We've sought out someone in the village who owns some land that's not being used for anything. And they very generously agreed to, oh, blood and there already, uh, allow us to store it on there just for a, a, maybe a week or so until we can get it spread. We're getting a contractor to come in and do the spreading for us. Uh, which will be fine we're gonna cause some trouble in this village i can just see it so we're gonna have to try and plan this out where possible um and it looks like the trucks are there what's going on they got stopped because i just don't think they knew where they were going um oh right then let's just go and see we're gonna go around the corner there and i'll probably get this fella just to follow me i reckon all right let's see if we can talk to them All right, so they're going to come follow me, I do believe. This should be interesting. Uh, we need to go just around the corner here, I think. All right, well, quick chat with them. They're going to follow me, I think, is the plan. Hopefully, we're not blocking the traffic up too much, which we probably are. Uh, but we're just going to sneak through the village here. Conscious that we don't want to bring 
well we have to bring rolling trucks through here really with liming because otherwise this is not going to work so uh that's something we have to be aware of there however we'll get them all tipped uh in here now and then like i say we won't be spreading it for a, a week or so we do some nicer weather and by nicer i mean just not raining and if we can get that then we'll be okay and the lime spreader that will arrive will no doubt have huge big tires on there and be uh pretty pretty light from a compaction standpoint and we can only hope that it doesn't want to dig in too much but we'll see uh so we're gonna tip in here anyway this is like i say uh, a neighborhood plot of land it's like a gravelly stony muck on the bottom there hopefully we'll be okay and there it looks dry enough uh, miraculously but mainly stone in here so we'll get these trucks in uh and then maybe even just one at a time get them tipped up there i'm gonna push this up a little bit just tidy it up and like we promised we would do for the landowner and we'll see how we get on all right hopefully he's coming here any minute uh this land has always been available for development there no one's actually gone onto it there anytime soon and done anything with it i don't know if it's permit or green belt or what but it is very much limited uh and like i say we can only hope that uh, there he is oh he came in there quick did he ever good lord he's a bit of a hooligan that one he's flying through there um we will see where he's gonna go i just told him to spin into here and turn around absolutely wild man uh driving that truck uh, i didn't want to slow down there at all surprise he hasn't ripped out a gate uh but yeah we'll get them in uh get these other ones in here and we get these all tipped in the way but yeah so that's going to be part of the plan uh all a bit busy but we'll just try and get this all sorted out and we'll come back with a list last little update here all right there goes number two away there it's got his back door open still incredibly uh well this is a fair start of it at least there's a few trailer loads live there uh and yeah we should start to get i think we got i don't know how many more we got really that's gonna be what the best part of about oh 80 ton give or take uh and then we will need quite a bit more we've got all of the land down here at bellum to do and a little bit more up at south healy as well so lots for us to get cracked along with there uh they're apparently coming with another load tonight although they don't need me here for that but uh hopefully only one more load each they're coming from about half an hour away It'll be about an hour round trip and a bit more to, to fill back up there as well. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do is sign some paperwork and then we'll get these both away, I reckon. All right, and there goes the last one. All right. Uh, so, paperwork's all signed. This is going to cost us a fortune just for the uh, the lime alone. Now, we're still trying to figure out what we can do for digestate because we don't have enough of our own uh, farmyard manure to cover everywhere. Oh, Lord, is that a heavy, uh, a heavy load. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see what that looks like. Uh, there is a contract to come to spread this as well. We did think about doing it ourselves and hiring in a spreader to do so, but ah, oh, the time it's going to take for a, a one-man operation when you can hire in these guys with a big old beast. We and they'll do it for us because, like you can see, this telehandler that's a heavy load of uh, lime in the front there. So we'll probably just leave that to itself and into its own devices. Uh, hopefully, the neighbors won't be too upset. Uh, with trucks coming in uh, time after time, but I fancy I'm going to get a phone call complaining about this at soon at some point, uh, and we'll see. It's a nice, it's a quieter end of the village, just the same that these trucks have to come rolling through. But what we're doing at the time, we're hopefully, as you can see, the roads are quite quiet. Uh, but yeah, that's an another step that we're trying to take, another big investment into some of our ground to make it uh, a little bit more viable. And we'll see, hopefully, if that gamble pays off at some point. Uh, we'll just cross over through there. Uh, no doubt bungle should be coming back fairly shortly uh, we are going to just potter on around the farm here see what the ground's looking like in places uh, and see if we can get a bit of muck taken out there as well just to get it out of the yard I would imagine so uh, we'll get going and we'll see how we get on uh, if you have enjoyed this please do consider giving it a thumbs up if you have any questions please do leave them down below in the comments and if you've got any feedbacks leave them there as well please as well and i'd love to hear from you thank you very much for watching this episode and uh, all of the episodes up to date it really does mean an awful lot until next time though i've been simulation for the nation this has been my farm and life on the northern farms and we'll see you next time